What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a call out. Okay, so the call out tool can be found here on the view tab. And then you can see there the call out. So what's the call out? So it creates a rectangular call out in the view. It's call outs, plan or detail call out. It isolates a specific portion of the model geometry to show a greater level of detail. Reference callouts allow the same view to be referenced more than one time in a project. So if you want to isolate a specific portion to add some more details to it, so callout is the tool for that. Okay, so let's say I want to isolate this view here or this part here. So I'm going to create a callout. Okay, so you just need to click the drop down arrow and then you can see two types of callouts. So one is rectangle, the other one is a sketch. So we'll be using rectangular first. So let's click this. Okay, and then you can select here the type of call out that you want to create. So uh, detail or floor plan. So let's say I want to create a call out detail, uh, call out floor plan for this view. So I'm going to select floor plan and then it's like creating rectangle. So you just need to pick the first point. And then you click the second point here like that there you go and then you can select modify okay so this is now the call out that we have created so what i'm going to do is i'm going to modify the boundary of my uh, call out okay so as you can see it's a little thin so i want to add line weight to it same with the leader line here so to do that you just need to open up the visibility graphic overrides okay so another thing, I'm going to change the scale here. I'm going to change that to one fourth of an inch to one foot. Okay, for the scale. There you go. And then let's open up the visibility graphic overrides. So you just type VV. Okay, VV. So that's your visibility graphic overrides. So let's go to object styles. Let's click that one. And then let's go to annotation objects. And then let's look for callouts call out boundary okay so that one so the boundary is the boundary of the call out so let's change this line weight so let's say i want to make that uh five maybe um how about a seven to make it more thicker and then the line color so let's say i want to change that to black and then uh, i want to change that from black to red so I select it, OK, and then I'm going to expand the callout boundary to check out the leader line. So I want to change the leader line to 7 as well. And then change the color. Just to see the difference, I'll select here cyan color and then OK. And then for the line pattern, so instead of solid, so I select dash dot 316. Then I select here, OK, then OK, and let's wait. There you go. So it's now changed, the leader line, and then the boundary. You can still select your call out, and then you see there's some blue nodes there that you can use to adjust your call out. Okay, so I can click this part of the call out to adjust the section head, something like that. And then after that, you can create an elbow if you want. Okay. Right. Okay, so if you hover up your pointer to your call out, you can see there the name of the call out. So the, the name of the call out is L2 dash call out one. So if you go to your project browser, sometimes it's different for you to find that particular name L2 dash call out one so what you can do is you can use the search bar here and then you can type so you can type l2 and then there you go so you already see here l2 dash call out one so you can double click this to open up the call out view or you can just uh, double click the head here the call out head to open up the view so if you double click this it will open up this view here so let's double click there you go. So it's now open the view and this is what I'm talking about. So it's now an isolated view of that particular area wherein you can add some more details to your call out. So you can add text 
or you can add some uh, detail lines from the annotate tab so you can add detail lines region components you can add uh, insulation for that okay and then you can still change the scale of that call out as well as the detail level so you will notice my detail level here cannot change okay it's because if I go to the properties here so I can see that if I move the slider down there is a view template that is applied in this view the name is uh, mechanical plan so I can go to mechanical plan so just for the sake of this exercise I'm going to remove the view template so I can adjust here the detail level so I select the mechanical plan and then I'll just select here none okay actually I can change here from the mechanical plan template the detail level okay but I'm not gonna do that I'll just remove the template so I select here none and then I select here OK. And then I can change the detail level. So let's say I want to change that to fine detail level. So that's how it looks like. So if you are going to change that to coarse, it will become line. Okay, like that. So the, the, represent, the representation of your pipes, your dock, your cable tray will become a single line if you change the detail level to coarse. Okay. All right. So let's go back again to level 2 and let's try to create another callout. So let's say uh, this one here. Okay, so let me create another callout. So let's go to the view tab, callout. This time let's use a sketch. We are going to sketch the boundary of a callout. So this will, this will now become a non-rectangular callout view. So let's create sketch. There you go. And then you can now see here the tools to create the shape or the profile of your callout. So let's say I'll use the line tool here. So that's the default. Okay, then I'll just create this callout like that. Okay. Like that. okay then click then let's close it so there you go so that's now your call out so it's non-rectangular so for the type i'll change that to detail or maybe i'll just uh use a floor plan because this is a floor plan view so i'm not creating a call out in a detail view because if i do that i'll select detail for the type okay but since i'm creating a call out in a floor plan so that's why i'm selecting floor plan okay and then I'll just select here check for that there you go so there's now my call out so again I can still select that one and then maybe I'll put it here and then I'll select modify now the reason why the call out bubble here is empty it's because we haven't put yet the call out view inside the title block or inside the sheet that's why this is empty but you will see later on once we put the callout view, like the L2 callout 2 inside the title block, this head here will populate with the sheet number and then the title, title block number, okay, later on. Now, for now, so let's open up the view that we have generated for this one. So let's double click again. Or another way to open up the callout is click the callout boundary, right click. And then there's this go to view option. And then you can also see here, if you click your call out, there are some options here wherein you can edit the crop, you can reset the crop, and then you can size the crop. Okay. Right. So let me just open the view, click, go to view, and there you go. So for this one, I'll just make it, okay, again, there's a, view template applied here so I'll go to the view template here mechanical plan so I'll just edit the mechanical plan so for the detail level ah, I'll just remove that one so none okay so I can customize only this view I'll just make it fine there you go okay so you can add text here to label up your call out view or you can add some more details now I'm going to create a title block here. So let me just close this one for me to be able to show again all the views here. Close that. 
Okay? So, let's create a sheet. So, let's right-click, new sheet. So, I'll create, uh, let's say, horizontal, 30 by 42. Horizontal is now done. So, I select here, okay. And then, let me inside the two call out that I created. Okay? Okay? Uh, just another tip. If you see a blue color just beside the, the name of the view, so that means these views are already inside a title block or sheet. Okay? So, you cannot drag and drop again this view that is already colored blue because they are already inside another title block. So, if you drag and drop that to put in this title block, so you cannot do that because this view is already placed on another sheet. Okay? So, if it is white here, so that means these views are not yet placed inside a sheet. Okay, so let's drag and drop, drag and drop. There you go. So let's put one there. And then let's drag and drop again. So let's, let me put one here. There you go. Okay. So if you click your call out like that, you will be able to resize your title line. So just click the viewport one time and then you can drag that. So if you want to move your call out name, you can click the call out name separately. Do not click the viewport, but click the call out and then you can drag that to move it separately from the viewport, okay? Anyway, so now that we have placed our call out inside the title block, title block M003, and then you can also see here the view number two and then you also have here the view number one okay so the call out uh, the sheet is m003 so if we go to our call out let's go to search here and then type call out oops call oh. call out okay so which is this two here so let's double click this Okay, so that's the call out. That's the call out. You check the properties here. Okay, so that's the name of the call out. And then as you can see here, this particular call out is already inside uh, sheet M003. And then the referencing detail is 1. Okay. So, if we open up the other callout, the callout one, and then check the properties here. So, you will see here the referenc uh, referencing sheet is M102, and then the sheet number is M003, and then the referencing detail is uh, 1. Okay, so you can do that by just simply... <clears throat> going to the properties of your callout and then you can also see here the detail number is one okay so for your callout number two the detail number is two okay so that's why if you go to sheet m003 you can see here the detail number two for callout two and then the detail number one for callout one so if you go to the floor plan where we created the callout you will now see that it's now populated. You can see the call out head is now populated with the detail number and then the sheet number. So that means it tells us that this particular call out is inside sheet M003 and then the detail number is 2. Okay, so same with the other call out that we created, which is uh, this one here. So it tells us that the call out view for this one can be found on M003 sheet and then the detail number is 1. So that's why if we go to M003, M03 uh, 003, uh, sheet, which is uh, this one, or you can just uh, select this one because it's already open. But if this is closed, so this is your M003, you can right click this and then rename by the way. And then you can change the name here. So this is call out exercise. 
Okay, so you can double click that. And then there you go. Okay. So basically, that's how you create your uh, call out. So hopefully, you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.